Let's now see what are the sine and the cosine of 30 degrees. If we denote the opposite leg by A and the hypotenuse by C, then the sine of 30 degrees is equal to A over C. Also, since the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, then this angle here is equal to 60 degrees. But what is so special about this triangle? Well, if we draw another such triangle over here, we get a triangle for which each angle is equal to 60 degrees, which means that this triangle is an equilateral triangle. So 2A is equal to C. But that means that the sine of 30 degrees is equal to A over C, which is now equal to A over 2A, and that is equal to 1 over 2. And now that we know what is the sine of 30 degrees, we can calculate the cosine because the sine squared of 30 degrees plus the cosine squared of 30 degrees is equal to 1. So 1 over 2 squared plus the cosine squared of 30 degrees is equal to 1. And that means that the cosine squared of 30 degrees is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 squared, which is equal to 1 minus 1 over 4, and that is equal to 3 over 4. And 30 degrees is an acute angle, which means that the cosine of 30 degrees is positive, so the cosine of 30 degrees is equal to the square root of 3 over 4, which is equal to the square root of 3 over the square root of 4, and that is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. We started with the right triangle, whose one acute angle was equal to 30 degrees. Since the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, then the other acute angle was 60 degrees. Then we drew another such triangle on the opposite side, which gave us a triangle with each angle equal to 60 degrees. That is, an equilateral triangle. That is how we concluded that the hypotenuse C is twice the length of the leg A, which means that the sine of 30 degrees is equal to 1 over 2. And finally, from the sine squared of 30 degrees plus the cosine squared of 30 degrees is equal to 1, we got that the cosine of 30 degrees is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. With that in mind, I leave you with this question. What are the tangent and the cotangent of 60 degrees? That is all for this video. If you liked it, click the like button, helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.